Good afternoon, this is Richard Marx. In case you're wondering, I'm not family of Karl Marx. Um, uh, I'm going to tell you something about the Out Outlook add-in. Um, we are first, uh, we're a Santi. Uh, we make software mainly focused for uh, the insurance market, but we also have a few general solutions that also work for other markets, like the Outlook add-in. Uh, the background, first you have to realize that Outlook is a critical for day-to-day -day work for a lot of companies, it has a really high adoption ratio in the enterprise market. Uh, but it also has a few problems. Uh, one of them is the big attachments. It takes a lot of storage capacity and it costs a lot of money to maintain. Uh, the attachment size uh, limits for receivers is also a problem because not everybody will receive them. Uh, and there are alternatives, but they're not all secure or professional. Uh, it also comes with privacy questions like who's taking care of the, uh, of the data and security issues. Is my uh, customer data, is it secured? And you also like to communicate with your uh, customers in a way that has your own brand of the company. Uh, besides that, the GDPR also made a big difference in awareness among our customers uh, to be aware of these uh, things. Uh, the add-in, what does the add-in offers? It's a complete integrated solution with Outlook. It can be used by both employees and customers, and it's a way to share personal data in a secure uh, way without unsafe attachments. Uh, there are several benefits. Uh, one of those are it keeps Outlook mailbox size under control, uh, and you're able to send larger files than 10 MB, which is usually the average threshold. So employees will not circumvent this limit by using unwanted services like Dropbox or WeTransfer. Uh, the security benefits are that you can automatically delete files with the next workflow. And there's a way to protect attachments with a passport and uh, expiration date. Uh, using the file access control to limit access to unauthorized users. Uh, there are several features. Uh, you can upload files. There is a way to create a public link that you can share with customers. Uh, the possibility for theming, like logos and colors, like the example you can see there on your right. Uh, you can customize and serve all HTML snippets for the text that goes along with the URL you sent. Uh, besides that, there is also a way for automatic uploading, uh, multi-language support, it uh, respects the next cloud servers and local policies. Uh, besides that, we are also working on activity tracker that will be released really soon. Now I'm going to tell you more about two of those features. Uh, the first one is the automatically uh, upload of the files. Uh, there is a way to manually upload the files. Uh, also, there is a way to enforce the uploading files when they reach a certain limit. For example, when they're 9 megabytes or even 0 megabytes and everything is sent uh, through the add-in. Uh, there is also a way to whitelist domains. For example, that you don't want to use the Outlook add-in internally for your own colleagues, but communication with external companies uh, have to use the Outlook add-in. Uh, the Activity Tracker, one of the uh, new features we're working on and that will be released next month, uh, keeps track of the previous shared files or public shared activities. And like you can see, it shows you a bit more information about the status, the kind of share and the subject of the email, uh, the receivers, and all the way on the right, there's a shortcut to open the original email that contains the link. Uh, at this moment, we're also already working on a notification for a user in case there has been any activity. Uh, so if somebody downloaded the file or has a file upload. Uh, these are the technical supports of the Outlook add-in at the moment. You can also find these on the website of Nextcloud. And there are two versions. We have the free version and the enterprise version. In the enterprise version, we have a few more features. And uh, if you're interested, you can find the free edition on uh, the link that you can find over there, or you can contact the sales department of Nextcloud. Any questions? Then I would like to thank you for your attention.